Hi, Deb here. Um, we're going to start this session with um, an exercise or two um, on uh, with photo editing and some photo editing techniques that hopefully will help you um, when you start to work with some of your images and process your images um, and you will have a, a few things that you'll be able to do to, to, to really focus in on your um, subject of the picture and kind of take away from the um, a background that might uh, be detracting. Um, I took this picture several years ago and it's a, a great picture of the, the bride and her niece who I think was her flower girl. But I noticed when I started looking a little closer at the picture I thought whose leg is that? And I looked at the background and I went oh my gosh that really takes away from that picture. What could I do to enhance it so that you really focus in on the bride and her, her niece and um, and take out that background completely. Now I really wanted the background because obviously the background shows the location and it also shows uh, uh, the context in which the picture was taken. So I did a couple of things. Uh, first thing I did, I, I'm, I'm going to try to get rid of, I'm going to use that content aware um, and see if it will help me kind of get rid of that um, uh, leg there. We'll, we'll try it and see if it works. I'm going to fill with content aware and hopefully it will, there we go, kind of got rid of that. At least took the darkness out of there. I've still got a little bit of dark going on there. I might try it again. Uh, sometimes you have to do this a couple of times. So let's see if it gets rid of just that dark it did. And then up here, I'm not going to worry too much about this part because by the time I finish with what uh, what my plan is on this picture, um, this is going to be blurred out so you won't be able to see it. The next thing I want to do is, and, and uh, notice too that when you take a picture and you pull it into Photoshop, usually it starts with one back. It starts with a a, a layer called uh, the background, and you'll notice that it's locked. And that's because uh, Photoshop always needs that reference point. It needs a point to start from. So it usually will be um, a little bit sensitive to letting you uh, do some things to take it away. If you really need to get in and change the background and, and do some major edits to it. Uh, or deletions to it, you can um, double click on this and it will unlock that layer. But in this case we don't really need to worry too much about that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my new tool that I've just um, started using thanks to uh, Bill Staniford in my class called um, Content, uh, it's, it's the um, Magic Wand tool, it's the quick selection part of the Magic Wand tool. And I think I said before in a couple of other, or one other time when I first uh, use this tool that uh, for those of us who've used the magic wand tool for a long time in Photoshop know that it does that. It's a tremendous time saver. So what I want to do is I'm going to use, uh, you'll notice that once I selected that quick select tool I have three choices here um, and uh, the uh, new selection, uh, this is to add to selection and this is to subtract selection. It, actually you can use keyboard commands and, um, to um, to focus in on that too. So this is a new selection and I'm going to start and I'm just going to select the parts of this picture that I really want to use. And obviously I'm just going to keep going. Whoops, the daisy got a little bit there that I don't want. And I'll come back and I'm going to subtract those from my picture in a minute. So as I've, uh, I'm, I'm, what I'm, the way I'm using this is I'm clicking and holding to grab the part of the picture that I want. If I want to subtract, I'm going to use my Alt key and hold that down. You'll notice that it flips into gear the subtraction mode, and then I'm going to subtract around. Oops, a daisy, the part of this picture that I don't want, and I need to add this. So then I'm going to go back here and add the dress. Whoops, that's a little sensitive, isn't it? I probably should go up and change my point size on this. So I'm going to subtract here. So I don't need this part. There we go. And I'm going to subtract. Oops, I'm going to have to add that back in. Oh no, there we go. Let's add that back in. There's a little piece of the floor there that I didn't need. Okay. Um, and so now I want to um, subtract the floor here and it looks like I'm pretty close now. I've got her feet, I've got the most of the image, I've got her hair and I've taken out the floor here because I don't need the floor. Oops, a little bit more here that I might add that's her hair and that's pretty sensitive to that so we'll take that out. 
And uh, now I have uh, selected, whoops, there's one part over here I don't need. I'll get rid of that. And so now I have selected the part of the picture that I definitely want to highlight. And I want people to see that first and be really focused on that when they look at this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, there's several different ways you could do it. I could, uh, basically, I could uh, uh, duplicate this layer and then do an inverse and delete what's not there. Or I can just copy this and then do a control C and then a control V and create a new layer. And the only thing I copied was uh, the part that I had actually selected. And now what I want to do is I'm going to go back to my background. And um, um, I'm going to notice I'm on that background layer. I'm going to go up to my filters. And I'm going to come down to the Gaussian blur. Where's blur? There it is. And I'm going to select the Gaussian blur. And uh, notice what happens immediately when I, uh, I'm using, I'm probably using about 27 there. And if you can check that out, I, I've got the preview um, enhanced so that you can actually see that now it really doesn't matter what's over here. I just did get rid of the dark part there of my brother's leg. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and say OK. And you'll notice that the only thing now, I've got to do a little cleanup here around their hair. Um, and I'll use my um, eraser tool for that. And I'm going to just, um, oops, uh, let's undo that. I didn't want to do that out of the background. I want to do that on my layer one. There we go. And so I'm a little closer in here. It actually, because of the Gaussian blur, gives me almost like a little bit of a glow effect um, that I have on uh, my subjects. And so that's kind of what I'm looking for here. Need a little bit of touch up here around the feet. And uh, so what we've done is we took, we focused in on our um, uh, subjects, and I've totally taken out of the um, out of the the uh, equation that background that was not too attractive. Um, that I didn't see in the first place. <laughs> um, so uh, anyway, the Gaussian blur and adding that Gaussian blur to your background um, and then pulling out the parts that you really want to focus on, that's a great technique for a lot of photos. So anyway, that's, um, that's a, a good way to, um, um, uh, to use uh, um, in your photo editing. So anyway, take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye now.